Okay. I think that it's rolling. Data initiative says average college costs are as high as $55,000, but is it worth it? For many graduates, that answer to, is increasingly murky. A lot of high school graduates are going into college, um, perhaps without a, um, an actual career plan until later in their studies. And then... My name is Madison Hull. I'm Reed Tucker. So I'm Madeline Prado. My name is Andrew. I'm J.R. Ray. I'm a math major and a music minor. I'm majoring in both biochemistry and Spanish. I'm a biochem major with a biology minor. I'm a chemistry major with a psychology minor. And I am a sociology major. But I think the bigger thing is the uncertainty of the payoff. Was well, your plan to always go to college after high school? Yes. I always like knew I wanted to go to college. I kind of always knew I wanted to study chemistry. I always planned to go to college. I wanted to, but growing up, it was also part of the expectation of my family. Yeah, I pretty much always planned on it. Uh, until junior year, I didn't really think that there was a, another option besides going to college. Do you feel like you were expected to go to college? For sure, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, both my mom and dad went to college, so they pretty much expected me to, to go right to college after high school. Because I was good in school, they wanted me to do that, but in the end, it really was my choice, and I decided to go to college. Gen Z respondents said they thought they could be financially stable with just a high school diploma based on current data and projections. Is wow. that accurate? Can, can you get a good job nowadays without a college degree? Is there anything else you would have pursued if you hadn't gone to college? I thought I might want to go to culinary school, but I mean, baking in a way is chemistry, so. Yeah. I had an internship my uh, senior year of high school with uh, an engineering place. So I probably would have tried to work there if I didn't go to college. Many young people are pushed into traditional college degrees believing that they will lead to a higher paying job and have more career opportunity. And while that may be true for some people, there are many others that are saddled with debt and stuck in dead end jobs, not realizing that a job in the skilled trades often offers higher wages and more job security than a job with a college degree. My granddad worked building houses, and I always thought that was pretty cool. So that is really cool. I would have probably joined him for a few years. I sometimes regret coming to college. I feel like I would have been a really good hairstylist. I feel like I might be like happier without as much stress. How has college helped you the most? Um, I feel like just like the, all the classes I've taken have taught me a lot of good information, but I mean, you forget. It's more like the process of learning is the thing I've like gained the most. I feel like just learning how to work in a professional environment is kind of the biggest thing. Doing research and classes and trying to balance everything in a social life has really taught me how to manage my time wisely. Probably in just maturity. I mentally matured as well as my knowledge has matured. I think college has helped me more disciplined with myself and just like stay strict with a routine. Going to a liberal arts school, you get so much more of a foundation for learning that you can build on in any subject matter. Uh, and I've learned to work an actual job and then also do leadership here. So. Mm -hmm. but was there any aspect of college that you were disappointed with? Yes. I was more disappointed in myself. In myself? I would have gone back and looked at different majors and like maybe more majors instead of just picking um, one that I thought would be like the most money and like grant the most success. Yeah. When I look back on my four years at Barry, I feel like I didn't take time to make the most. I've been so focused on studying and at the end of the day, like whether I study multiple hours and don't sleep and sacrifice everything to study or if I study a little bit my grades are the same so I feel like I'm just kind of disappointed in how I kind of manage that. A lot of high school drama happens and I it's not even the school's fault other than there's just not a lot of students. I mean I was definitely told college was going to be like extremely hard and I don't think it was as like devilish and terrible as my uh, teachers told me. But I don't think it's a disappointment. I think it's just an uh, expectation that, that didn't hit. And are you going to graduate with debt, JR? 
Yeah, I'm graduating with some some debt. Not as bad as it would have been, but. So student of college is absolutely insane. He'll be a senior next year, and then we'll have to be dealing with that. And we've been looking at colleges. We definitely know the struggle and feel that, but she's the one that pays for it. <laughs> Will you graduate with any debt? Um, actually, no. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not. I personally won't have any debt. No, I'm not. I got so many scholarships. So. My mom and dad have saved up money, and I've uh, using some money that I made in a job in high school, so I will graduate debt free. Um, I'm very thankful that my grandparents set aside yeah. money for me to go to college because yeah. they were not able to. Made it a priority for me and my brother to be able to go to college. My brother and I were both promised our first education, so our bachelor's degree, would be fully funded by them. It would have been more had I not kept my scholarships. Yeah. My scholarships are why I'm here. What are your plans for after college? Uh, for after college, I'm going into the workforce. <laughs> They're now getting to that real world. They're getting to an office environment. I'm going either back to Carrollton or I have some opportunities in Colorado. So I'm looking at either of those. So I have a job lined up as an HR manager. I've applied uh, to a physical therapy aid. I'm pretty sure like I have a good chance of getting it. I'm trying to like weigh my options right now. I'll be attending uh, graduate school to get my doctorate in chemistry at Vanderbilt um, for the next five years. Overachiever. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for that. Um, so I'm moving to Spain. I accepted to the University of Navarre. My plan is to just go to Spain, live my best life, get my master's, probably go on to get my PhD in organic synthesis. Are you happy with where you're at at this point in your life? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yes and no. I have never been prouder of where I am. I am. Absolutely not. It's just the grind culture of America, honestly. It's bringing me down. I, I, I still don't, so. well, I don't exactly know what I'm doing yet. There's a month left till graduation. Yeah. I feel good. You yeah. Know. I'm happy that I'm graduating with a biochem degree and biology minor. I think that's, that's pretty impressive. I kind of wish I had explored around, uh, looked at different majors and see like what I, what makes me happy instead of what I thought would be like most successful or make the most money. Um, I'm a hard worker. Like I've worked since I was 15 and I love working, but I'm tired of getting graded for everything that I do. I'm um, happy seeing the fruits of the past four years of hard work. Um, I definitely like sacrificed a lot um, over these four years to be able to go to a good grad school. I have a solid support system. My mental health is cared for. I have a solid job, both here and at home. This is the best case scenario for how I could have ended Barry, considering everything that's happened. Yeah. How do you feel like college has helped shape who you are today? Barry itself shaping me came from a lot of life works. Halfway through, I transitioned over to residence life. Such a big responsibility to people that it helped me become more mature and be able to handle both myself and other people's problems at the same time. I mean, it definitely pushed me away from some careers that I thought about doing. It's more taught me what I don't want to do than what I actually want to do. Really let me know like what I wanted to do. It's also helped shape like what I want to do because I love chemistry, but what do I do? Like I wanted to go engineering and I was like mm -hmm. taking all these physics classes. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, actually, I don't like physics. I realize now. I did research with a professor and I liked it for a while, but then I got to the point where I realized this isn't what I want to do. I don't want to be stuck in this job. So I knew like grad school was a no for me. It solidified like my career goals. Now I'm more focused on data analytics yeah. and they have actual data analytics courses here. So I yeah. took some, I've looked at coding some, and I've looked at some uh, math courses. Getting to do research with uh, my um, advisor after my su the summer after my freshman year taught me I loved that. Um, do you have any regrets during your time here or is there anything that you wish you had done differently? Yeah. There's a lot I would have done differently. Um, I think studying too much. I studied a lot. Sometimes I wish I had just taken a bad grade and went and done something fun instead. Yeah. Because in the end it doesn't really matter. Yeah. There's like a group of us in our scholarship who studied a lot, but we wish we would have taken more time off and formed those relationships early on. Yeah. I think my biggest regret is not being open-minded my first two years of undergrad. 
trying to force a major on myself too soon. I'm so worried about my grades. I was so worried about being perfect and only studying biology and I didn't look at any other career options. I really like held me back for the first two years. I wish I had come in undeclared. You don't feel tied down and you just are constantly looking for opportunity. Like what sparks you? Mm -hmm. I came in thinking that I was gonna study biology and be pre-med and go to medical school. But here I am, a senior, a biochem major. I hate biochemistry. Like I don't even wanna do biochemistry. I have a lot of friends who are still technically pre-med and hate medicine Yeah. just because they don't know what else to do. I don't like anything biology related. The only reason I'm in the major is because I took the biology classes my first two years and had to stick it through. Um, I mean, hindsight's 20-20. Um, I'm very grateful for everything that I experienced in my, my four years. I wouldn't change any of it, but if I could do it over, there are things I would change. Yeah. And hopefully things would have ended out better. Yeah. Um, and I would still have all the relationships I have. If you could do or be anything in the world, what would you do or what would you be? Uh, There's so much I want to be. If I could do anything in the world, I would just be rich. And I would just live in a nice little mansion in Spain. I want to be like a film director and writer. And I want to like work in movies. That That's my ultimate dream. If I could do that right now, I would leave biochem behind, never look back, and just go <laughs> straight into that. I think that would be so much fun, and it actually, I think, made me happy. You know, I want to do event planning. I want to do criminal justice or forensic science. Like, mm -hmm. If I could genuinely be anything in the world, be a public speaker, someone that can tell those stories and yeah. make that change. Um, if money wasn't an option, I would just move to like Switzerland and open a coffee shop. If I could actually make my brain work for it, I would probably go be a NASA engineer for like uh, aerospace and all that. Because that seems so cool to be like, I so worked cool. on the rocket and now it's yes. at Mars. But I, physics is so hard. I don't like it. It's bad. <laughs> but really, physics is my dream job is a synthetic organic chemist and just working around. There is growing skepticism among Americans um, about the value of a degree and whether it's worth the escalating price. Then is college even worth it? Do you feel like college is ultimately worth it? And was it worth it for you? I would say for my circumstances, it was. I think for me, for sure. Ultimately, yeah. I think like any knowledge is helpful. Even if it's not like really what I want to do, I think that just learning anything is helpful. I think I've made so many friends I've learned so much, not just about my major and like my degrees and whatever, but I feel like I've learned a lot about life and like... I do feel like college is worth it for anybody who is willing to pursue that or wants to pursue that. As a Gates Scholar, I didn't have to pay the Barry price tag in full to get in here. If I had to pay the full, what was it, maybe 200000 to go here for four years? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, Reed, do you have any final advice or comments for people considering college or about to go into college? Don't just do it because it's the next thing. My advice would be, like, like, do what makes you happy. Don't feel like you're pressured to do what others think you can do. Mm -hmm. I would just say, be so open-minded. Not what is going to make you the most money or make you the most successful. Not just money. Just do what you enjoy and you will have a great time. Mm -hmm. Give yourself grace and show yourself compassion. Um, if you can find it um, with some scholarships, and if you can, if you're planning on going into a career field where you want to be promoted, college seems like a good spot. If you're planning on just doing a very basic job and you really don't want to pay it, I get it. Hey, maybe it's not for you, but I would suggest most people. College is probably worth it. Mm -hmm. But also just don't waste your time. Um, be intentional with all the friends you make and yeah. be the best person you can be yeah. um, in everything. Okay, here's what I'll say. I, I've always felt like I've kind of been on autopilot and I've always done the next thing that was supposed to come. I don't regret that I went to college after high school, but 
I did have an opportunity my sophomore year to leave school for a little bit and take a step back and figure myself out um, and figure out what I wanted for my life. I sort of thought if I took a break from school, I just wouldn't want to go back and I wouldn't fin finish my undergrad. I didn't take the break. Looking back now, I feel like that would have actually been the better option for me because here I am, senior year, and I don't know if I'm completely happy. I think what everyone kind of touched on in the video is no matter what you do, just make sure that you're going to be happy. Because at the end of all of this and at the end of the day, you're really going home to yourself. You want to do what will make you happy. If you're not happy, nothing else matters and nothing else is worth it. Because college isn't for everybody. And I think a lot of people do go into college just because it is the next thing. There's so many other ways you can make money and you can still be successful. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you went to college and you and you got a bachelor's degree. I am so grateful that I had the opportunity to go to college and that I did go to college. Beyond grateful for the friends that I have in my life. I have the utmost love and respect for every one of them. I wish I had put more time into my friendships and into the school rather than maybe studying so much. Do what makes you happy and surround yourself with people that will inspire you and that will make you happy. I wanna? Sorry, <laughs> it's like two different no, questions just, at once. I forgot to listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, I had to write 10 pickup lines based on historical moments in history. That's education right there. Yeah. <laughs> I may have an A in my class, but I've got a D for depression. Yeah. <laughs> oh. If I could do anything or live in, like, what was the exact question? If you could. Um. <laughs> Wait, let me start that part of your pause cut. You did it! Yes! <laughs> so I look in the camera or look at you? Yeah, and then so. I'm just like falling, and I'm like sliding <laughs> over the chair to try to get into the 